something's wrong with the old dog again. Takes big drink out of beer can. Something's wrong about that lad. Just not sure what it is. You're not supposed to be able to count the polygons on the dog. Just not supposed to be able to count the polygons on them. Dog's been, dog went and caught the low resolution virus again. Now they're all crunchy. <laughs> that boy ain't right. Something wrong with him. We're gonna have to take care of him. By taking him to a vet. We're gonna have to take him to a vet. God, you guys are freaks! I said take care of him, and you guys are like, you mean kill him, right? You mean fucking take him out back and blow his brains out, right? Streamer? Right, my streamer? We're gonna go get him, we're gonna kill him? You guys are sick. Freak? Freaks? Collectively. I hate you. Stay away from my dog. Pulls out the belt sander. I gotta sand these edges back down. The dog's getting all angular. Again. We're playing some horror games tonight. Bro, why isn't he playing Elden Ring before it comes out like a real streamer? Dude. <laughs> Let me tell you why. <laughs> Let me tell you why. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you why. Hey, Mr. Chaddington. 1213. Thanks for the 250. Uh, sorry, 25,000 bits. 25,000 bits. That's 250 dollars. Thanks. That's really kind of you for Twitch's best streamer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> you know how it is. Elden Ring, they, they asked if they could have the best streamer on Twitch play their game, and I said. <laughs> Show me the dog models. And they said, what? I thought you were only worried about the, I said, show me the dog model. Show me the model for the dogs in the game. Show me the model for like the do enemy dogs in the game. Show me the dog model and like their moveset. And then they blocked me on, they blocked my email. So I'm not talking to them right now. Mm -mm, they weren't expecting that. <laughs> but I already know what I'm gonna see if I see that. I believe that I would have seen the Dark Souls 3 dog. Yes. All the way down to the exact move set. Yes. And I'm still gonna buy and play that game on day one because I'm an Angie fan. Bloodvinder, thanks for the 5,000 bits for Twitch's most pathetic streamer. Damn. Damn. Are we sure it ain't the Bloodborne dogs? That'd be even worse. All right. Damn. Well, thanks, Mr. Chaddington. Their, their, their message meant more because it had more money involved, so you can't hurt my feelings like that, Bloodvinder, without adding, like... <laughs> Way more capital. <laughs> All right, it's gonna take more than that to counteract, to cancel out the nice things that was said. I'm not pathetic, according to according to Mr. Chaddington. So, you know, it's the money, anyways, though. 
only, only like fucking, yeah, extremely rich people can hurt my feelings nowadays, all right? Bloodvenders uh, just uh, sent me uh, 25,001 uh, bits and they just said, you are pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Takes money, pockets the money. Stop! Stop it now! Stop! Thanks for the bits though. I appreciate that because I like money. Money's cool. Dude, when am I gonna, I'm so freaking mad. Cause you know who's been ghosting me the last like three days? The people that are supposed to be giving me my new glasses. Got a new glasses prescription. I'm sitting here waiting for my glasses to come in. <sighs> waiting to get my new glasses prescription so I can see. And they're nowhere. My eyes, I can't see. Well, I mean, I can see, I have to say that I can see because I did go on like a long distance drive like fucking three days ago or two days ago. So I have to say I can see legally. I can see, I just can't see like, you know, if someone were to raise up a very specific list of uh, words, like a, like say, a, for instance, a small narrow sign that says a street on it. I might not be able to see that one. That's what GPS is for anyways, who cares? Who cares? I can see the red lights, and the green lights, and the red thing, and the speed limit. I can read numbers. I drive by smells, yeah, yeah. How can you read the GPS though? <laughs> Dude, I am nearsighted. Can't see far away things. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that's how sometimes sight works? <laughs> it's uh, pretty close. Nearsighted is usually pretty fine. Hey, Turkey1121, thanks for the 5,000 bits. They say, I hate this, you. Even Jesus wouldn't ball with you. What the? Why would you say that to me? Thanks for the money. Remember, chat, you're only allowed to be mean to me if you give me at least $50. <laughs> That's like the law. Mm -hmm. Check the check the books. They added a new law to streamer. To the streamer law books. It's about how you have to give money if you want to actually bully the streamer from now on. It's to make the streamer feel better. Can we be nice for free? That's also going to cost you. That also is going to cost you. But thanks, Tarky1121, for the extremely uh, uncalled for message. Thank you. The legend five six seven things the five gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you, thanks. You're only allowed centrism unless you want to like fucking pay to get past the centrism barrier. We know the rules, all right, and you are obligated to follow them. I would call tomato bad, but I'm poor. And thus I shall never know your true opinion. Ever. This surely is a stream. Exactly. I'm playing some of that, uh, I had some time. Chad, I woke up today at, guess this, like 10.30 in the morning. 10.30 in the morning. And it wasn't like a 10.30 with like, you know, three hours of sleep. It was at 10.30 in the morning because at 2 a.m. My brain was like, ah, oh, bud, I think I finally figured out what you've been trying to do for the last three days. 
I think I figured it out. And I was like, finally. Thank you. And I fell asleep. I saw the sun today. And I stared right at it for about five minutes straight until my family members ran up. I was like, what are you doing? And I, my, I like turned, I couldn't see out of my eyes anymore. And I called the, my eye doctor again. I said that probably the new glass prescription was going to be updated again because I stared at the sun for about uh, two minutes straight. I might need a new updated. I told them to hold the prescription because I'm going to be coming back in after all. Free LASIK, dude! Cut out the middleman, dude! Just me and the sun, bro! Just me and the sun! Wait, ginger in the sun for two minutes? Lies! Yeah, I know, that's what I thought too. And then I saw the sun, and then my arm burned a little bit. And then I was like, oh yeah, and I closed the blinds again. Look, Jet. Just because I'm just because I'm living on the normal schedule now doesn't mean I have to hang out with the sun, all right? The, the sun needs to know that nothing has changed between me and them. Nothing. Nothing. Not a single thing has changed, and I don't plan on that. I don't plan on that part, all right? All right. Do we even need the sun anymore? <laughs> I know I don't. Although I don't want it to like explode. How could he see the sun if he's nearsighted? Huh. True. You know what? You got me. <laughs> you got me, dude. I completely whiffed that one, dude. I've been faking it. I don't need glasses. I've been wearing them to be more relatable. Because only darks, like all of you, need glasses. Me? <laughs> I'm no nerd. I never was. I'm paid the big bucks by a big production company to put on this facade. Of a, a, of a young spry streamer. All right. Because it's what the audiences want. Spray. Look, dude. I'm I can I can touch my toes. I bet some of you can't even do that. I bet if you did that. I bet if you did that, you just hear a fucking paper tear. Alright? You hear it as your tendons all popped off, just snapped. The sun kinda sucks, DBA. You see, people are talking about the sun like months after I talked about it. So I'm talking about you. Y'all, you're all old now. You're all old and crusty. <laughs> Can't you, took you fucking like 15 minutes to type that. You're all too old. All right. I don't like the sun either. Shut up, Grandpa. Shut the hell up. You're getting your old all over me! <laughs> there is one thing I've noticed is that as I wake up earlier, I'm getting grumpier. It's making me more like fucking, like, wired during the intro, dude. But I'm not like awake, I'm like still kind of sleepy. I'm like in the middle of like being conscious and being fucking sleepy as all hell, like all the time now. Go to bed then. Look, Chad, let me make something clear, all right? I have a life. <laughs> I can't go to sleep. I have to live it to the best of my abilities. Zero JDK, thank you for the 13 gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Prove it. 
I have nothing to prove. That's the thing. Chad, that's the thing, is that people that have something to prove when someone asks if they have a life and to prove it probably doesn't really have one. But me, I can just say it and then sit back because I don't care about whether or not you think that. <laughs> I, I don't take any more comfort knowing you know. <laughs> it doesn't, not knowing that you're like, yeah, dude, fuck yeah, dude, get it, wouldn't make me any happier. <laughs> it would, um, it may even make me less happy. If, like, I got, if after I, like, proved it, I got a message from, like, a chat viewer, and they were like, dude, I'm really fucking happy for you. I'm glad you finally got your shit fixed up. You got a life, dude. Fuck yeah. I'd be like, bro, this is the saddest thing I've ever gotten in my whole life. Am I, like, what am I, like, seven? Like, wh why are people, like, fucking pat me on the back for, like, going outside? Why is that wholesome as shit? No, it fucking isn't. Creepy. <laughs> to me, it's creepy. Don't ever message me anything, ever. <laughs> I don't want any messages from anyone about anything. You contact me when, like, I don't know, the Discord server is exploding. That's it. Anything else? I'm gonna get all angry. Tomato, can you say hi to my cat? Your cat can't understand English. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, I said it. You don't know that? I do. Cats still get the gist, you psycho. Prove it. Yeah, they hear sounds. <laughs> uh, they hear sounds, they hear things, and then they react to the sounds. But I mean, like, you can just go <laughs> and it'll probably fucking get the gist of it almost instantly, too. Like, the same thing. Just go like <laughs> at the cat, and it'll probably go like, oh, hell yeah. But that's like what language is. Look, all I'm saying is that if you talk to your cat in English and nothing happens and you talk to it in Spanish, well then maybe I might start getting a little bit like, whoa, maybe they do understand. Maybe this cat only speaks Spanish. But that's never happened. I've never seen anyone do that. So, uh, until then, I don't buy it. Wait, this is a dog stream? It's a whatever stream. I have no... I do not care. <laughs> but dogs are kind of the one for this one. All right? Dogs are kind of the stream for this one. He's losing it. When's the horse stream? Dude, horses are nothing but big hands. I don't like them. Think about it. Fingers, chat, think about it. Their feet end in big nails. Hooves are nothing but big nails. So their feet are really big fingers, which means their body is really just one big hand. Think about it. Think about it. Adjacent to Thumby, one of the monsters from Spy Kids, essentially. Closer to that than any other kind of being. Horrid. <laughs> uh, horrid, horrid. You know I'm right. And that's what scares you the most. Giraffes are even worse? Yeah, dude, giraffes fucking suck. And giraffes are so bad. I hate them. Now elephants. <laughs> now elephants. I, I, elephants are pretty cool. Fuck yeah, elephants. No, I've been thinking about this. I've been workshopping this new thing. This VTuber. This elephant VTuber idea. Ah. 
thinking about it a lot lately. I've been keeping it a secret. You may not have heard of my idea. Someone circulated a Photoshop of the Dean of Students as a thumbling from Spy Kids, like your Dean of Students at your college. And it got so popular, it became a suspendable offense. Isn't that like what that happens in like China when like you like show like a fucking picture of like the, like that, that guy looks like Winnie the Pooh? Isn't that like the same thing? It's basically the same thing. Chairman and Winnie Pooh. Oh, that cost me some social credit. I just got a pop up. I don't even go to China. Nor have I ever. I just got an email about it. I just got another one that says, and you shouldn't ever. It just, it, that was from China. And they sent me like an angry face. And like a gun emoji. Uh. Um... <laughs> Don't bother, angry face. Just tell them to suck self, Jesus be ballin'. Chat. Come on, chat. I don't wanna have to like, I don't wanna get like an email from Amazon like a week that I have to do some, I have to talk in like fully fluent Chinese and like apologize to all of you. Like I, I wanna avoid that as much as I can. You know this. So like, please stop asking me to say buzzwords. Please stop asking me to say buzzwords, please. I don't want Bezos to kick my door down, hand me a script and be like, you gotta, bud. And then like, just start shaking and do like a line of crack on like a table or something and then just turn on a camera and point at me. Like, I don't want that. I don't want to get sent to the Miami Gulag. China is currently waiting for an apology. <laughs> Dude. Look, dude, I'm not in film. I don't have to apologize for anything I ever say. Just got put on the list. Oh no. I'll just have Brett cut out, like just censor every time I say China and replace it with like a, uh, like a country uh, that no one would care if I like insult like Australia. Yeah, I'll set Brett, like, like clumsily substitute all of it for like Australia. Replace it with Scientology. Chat, I don't want to get actually fucking for real murdered. So no, I'm not going to make it Scientology. Because the difference between China and Scientology is that Scientology actually fucking full on freaks me out. <laughs> Scientology actually full on scares me. <laughs> as a as a person, as a person in the media, all right, that makes uh, entertainment stuff. Scientology, the Scientology one, fucking actually kind of uh, freaks me out a little bit. I don't want like Tom Cruise to punch me in the nose. Okay. He probably couldn't reach your nose, you'd be fine. <laughs> True, dude. He's short as hell. I'm tall, I'm big, huge. 
Some may even say gigantic. How many Scientologist streamers actually are there? You should join just for bragging rights. Is that you? Is that you, Tom? Tom, is that you? Tom? That was smooth. <laughs> that was smooth, Tom. Why not simply join Scientology for bragging rights? There mustn't be many Scientologist streamers out there, streamer. <laughs> be one of the first. Think about all the clicks you'd get. Come along. Oh, that's supposed to be a jaw a dog? You guys are really fucking mean to this dog. Damn! The heck's your problem lately? Join the Yogg's cast instead. I'd have to fucking, I don't know. I don't know if the Yogg's cast is gonna be the trajectory of my future. No offense to anyone else I know. <laughs> Yikes cast. Am I right? Run sad cat. <laughs> Damn. That was harsh. I mean, they didn't do anything. <laughs> they didn't they didn't like they didn't really do anything. It's not, it's not like they t like uh, did any actual insults. So it's like just adding yikes to anything. Have to watch today's TTT video. I haven't seen anything of the Yogg's cast in like actually, for real. Perhaps eight years. So um, maybe even probably well more than that actually. Probably nine or ten. But if they were making Gary's mod videos now, that would le that would shake me. When will Shadow of Israfel continue? I could ask Sam. They would ask him. You think the next time I'm in like a call with him, I just like actually grab him and I go like, hey dude, I gotta ask some questions about stuff that's just been bothering me lately. And I just like with like zero fucking context, I don't ever make it seem like I'm gonna ask him anything like that and then just drop that on him and ask him. Like completely unironically. That's so mean spirited. Yeah, I don't know why, but I feel like he has it coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what he did. But I do know, all right. I don't know how I blame him for it, but I know the last week, all right, for some reason, D&D &D didn't happen and he said something. And I think that's why D&D &D didn't happen last week. He said some bullshit. So maybe I can be mad at him about that and then I'll be like, then I'll be like, and that's for D&D two weeks ago, fucko. And then I'll back up after I say it, after he gives me the answer, of course, because I actually am deeply wondering when Shadow vs. Fell is going to be continuing. Like, that's not even, like, really a joke. That's actually just kind of, like, a genuine question. Like, if they put, did put out another episode, I'd probably watch it, even though I don't remember anything about it anymore. It's been 40 years. It's for the fans. Changed you, dude. It looks better than my dog, at least. Damn, man, your dog must be ugly. Sorry. But, I mean, you're the one who said it first.
I mean, what? Chat, how is it rude if they say they're ugly first? That's like if someone walks up and tries to show you their baby and they're like, look at my ugly fucking baby. And then you say, damn, that baby's ugly as hell, man. What the heck just happened to that thing? And then the parents go, <gasps> how could you say that? And then they like attack you. Like, I don't know if I, if I walked up to anyone with my baby and I said, Look at how fucking, like, cause honestly, let's be, I'll be honest right now. Um, every baby looks like a disgusting pile of fucking meat and flesh for like a year until their body like actually forms properly. Until then they're kind of a squishy sack. So like, let's just be honest. All of them are ugly. All of them. <laughs> just, they, they just look awful. All right. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Except mine, right? Except, absolutely not, Rosie. All right. Yours too, all of them. They all look ugly. All right. <laughs> Just gross, gross like balls, dude. Just weird fucking like little sex. I don't like them. All right. So don't ever walk up to me and be like, how cute is my baby that was born like a day ago that's covered in like shit and piss and vomit? I'm gonna go, ew, I can smell that thing from here. <laughs> and not only is it ugly, but it stinks. <laughs> and then I'll walk away. <laughs> and then I'll walk away. All right. <laughs> so like, I don't know if I walked up to anyone with my gross ass, disgusting baby, I'd be like, and they said, oh, that thing's ugly. I'd be like, true. You know, I think we all know it. I'm glad you had the honesty to tell me it as it is. TBH, yeah, that is ugly. Like, it's not like, it's not like if I tell someone their baby's ugly, that person's going to be like, oh, I just get another and like go back in, like get another one, like from the bin. Like, you can't do that. So you're not, you can't be picky. All the babies are ugly. All right. There's probably only like two or three babies a year that are actually like, damn, that one came out already looking pretty functional, like a normal person. Like that just doesn't happen. So like, <laughs> you can't like, you can't like get the baby and then be like, doc. Like, what happened here? Like, was this, what happened? You can't get like a, you can't get like a fucking fix for that. The orange is fucked. This baby's ugly. Butterflies have ugly babies too. You know what, true. True, and I'm tired of acting like they don't. But butterflies are also fucking ugly. All right? I would say butterflies are uglier than caterpillars. Okay? Caterpillars at least, you know, rock what they got. And then they turn into a gross, like, soup. And then become a butterfly. Does tomato like any animals? Elephant shrews are badass. I like them. I like capybaras. Capybara, dude. Capybaras? They didn't get they didn't do nothing to piss me off yet. Pangolins? Oh, pangolins. Come on, pangolin Jen. Capybaras are great though, they're my favorites. Capybaras may be one of the best ones. They just look like an extremely huggable being, you know? 
Just a coconut dog. Big hamster, big giant hamster. See, that's the thing is that, like, it kind of pisses me off because, like, you look at, like, a baby animal and, like, yeah, they got, like, a couple days of disgusting grossness where they also look like a freak, like a big, like a pile of meat with eyes. But I feel like a week or two, they're good and they're cute. The human babies, though, they take, like, truly a couple of years of, like, prep time after the fact. Like, you'd think if they had nine months in there, they would come out better. <laughs> you know? Like, that's the thing. Like, what are they doing in there, dude? <laughs> It's the beta, okay? Look, all right. All we gotta do, okay, is develop kind of hibernation chambers like Dragon Ball Z, all right? All right, and you can put this on my permanent social record that I'm saying this, all right? Because I firmly believe it. Once the baby comes out, you grab it, you put it in tube for another year, all right? Then it's two and like slightly more bearable all right, it still hasn't learned anything because babies don't do shit for like the first year they're out. So they get a year of time inside the tube to grow the rest of the way and become bearable, like bearable things that can at least like move on their own. Okay. And like the parents get like a year off to like figure out their shit before they gotta pick up the tube baby, okay? And then you can like come by every once in a while and see if the baby's gotten any cuter since uh, since you put it in the tube. And if it hasn't, then maybe you leave it in for another couple days or weeks <laughs> or years. And that's a fully grown being. And like maybe you just leave maybe you just leave it in forever, and then it just you know gets dumped out and it just knows everything already. Maybe you just put a TV in front of it with like a bunch of educational slides. Easy. This is a why the metaverse is being made. Dystopia as fuck. Look, chat, there's one thing I've learned about the, the generations before me. It's that I should not care about the generations after me. Okay, I should only worry about the now and what will make my individual life happier. And seeing less ugly beings and obnoxious pieces of shit will make my overall life happier happier by a pretty significant enough margin that I'm willing to put every infant in a tube until they become bearable. You know? <laughs> uh, you know, you know, that's just how it is, dude. That's just, that's just sometimes how it is. <laughs> Don't hate the player, hate the game, Keiko, to clap. Oh. <laughs> I just, I just started thinking of way more dystopian concepts, and I, I don't want to say them. I don't want to say them. Is there a way that you can get the brains of babies to somehow function as like Bitcoin mining CPUs or GPUs while they're still figuring out their shit? Is there a way that you could somehow get babies to like mine for Bitcoins? <laughs> Is there a way that you can do that? 
Like, I'm not saying we have to or we should, but it's like, and I'm not saying I want a full on Matrix situation, but let's be honest, the babies aren't doing shit, dude. Okay? Like, I don't know, maybe I want like a kind of hypnospace outlaw-esque, like, dude, if I could sit down and like lay down in my bed onto a little servo uh, on my pillow, and when I woke up it said, you made point zero 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 one bitcoins tonight, I'd be like, oh fuck yeah. Oh fuck yeah, my brain while I was sleeping was subconsciously calculating bitcoins. You know? And you know what would make me appreciate? My obnoxious future child, the fucking miserable, vomiting, pissing and shitting pile of meat that for the first, like, at minimum, Four years of their life is nothing but a screaming, screeching piece of shit being would be if I woke up every day because they were screaming and shitting and pissing again in their bed and I went upstairs and I at least at the very least saw above their like crib it said and they've made point zero 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 one percent of a Bitcoin today. I'd be like, fucking thank God. <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> At the very least, they did that for me. Dude, <laughs> I was just thinking about how, like, in, like, 20 years, if I ever have this VOD on hand, you bet your ass I would show everyone in my family. And <laughs> just, like, kind of compare my brain from then till now, or now till then. You know? <laughs> I don't know, dude. And you can put that on like a resume. Imagine on your resume. All right. Applying to your first job. All right. On your resume, it says, and in my subconscious sleep while I was three, I mined one whole Bitcoin, a whole one. Over the course of years, I was able to personally, subconsciously generate with simply brain power my own Bitcoin. I am part of me like, damn. <laughs> damn, kid. Damn. I hooked my subconscious into the blockchain. <laughs> How many bitcoins has your brain made, tomato? None, because my parents didn't fucking think to do it to me. Dude, honestly, if someone walked in and was like, yo, put this thing on your head, it'll mine bitcoins automatically with your latent brain power that you aren't using. I'm like, I'll be like, thank God, because I'm never using fucking any of it. I don't need 90% of this shit to stream. Let the rest of it sub in the background mine me bitcoins. Go ahead, hook it in. Tomato uses 1% of his brain to stream. Yeah, I mean, I don't need more to handle all of you. Sorry. Did you expect me to go all out? <laughs> For you? For you, bong boy? Really? For you, bong boy? You expected me to go all out for you, bong boy. Really? Really? <laughs> Uh, this has been a, it's been a cursed intro today. This might be one of the most cursed. It's been like a couple cursed ones in a row, huh? 
Dude, early morning me is like a whole different beast, dude. I swear, it's like genuinely, my brain is on a different wavelength than it is when I'm waking up, like, and I've only been awake for 30 minutes before I stream. It's wild. I gotta do this more often. Wipe this intro, fuck it, destroy it. Early morning. Well, I woke up in the early morning, and by the early morning, I mean 10.30 in the morning, which is, to most humans, early, all right? Let's be real, all right? Let's be real, that is early. I woke up at 10.30 today. I've been awake for what feels like ages. On a weekend, even, all right? That's 1.5 hours away from not being morning. Yeah, but I live on uh, Western time still, chat. Just because I'm waking up at 10.30 now, I'm living, I live my whole life with Western clocks. You know this. Which means when it says 10.30, it really means I'm waking up at 7.30. Didoy, idiot, freaking moron. Full on certified resident of stupid town. <laughs> Sad. Population, you. Is this gaslighting? No. No. Gotta sleep more for those NFT brain miners to work. You know what, man? True. True. Gotta get, gotta, I go to sleep early so I can mine for bitcoins in this virtual realm. Gotta go sleep early. That's how I mine for the coins. <laughs> I can't. You know, the funniest part is that I've been imagining that thought, but I've refused to say it because I need to let someone else take the fall for it. Suzuka Spec says, I can't stop picturing the Internet Cafe Simulator game with babies now on the wall instead of GPUs. It's kind of like a, it's a borderline death stranding kind of situation. It's kind of like a, a future world of ours where we've sort of entered a death stranding-esque realm. Where we, instead of using babies to protect us from ghosts, we use babies to mine GP, mine like Bitcoin. Which feels way more realistic, actually. Dude. <laughs> Like, just, just think about it, chat. Instead of putting your baby in the crib for the night, you just put him in the old <laughs> coin, you know, Bitcoin mining tub. Seal it. The little, it lights up like a little battery. The baby sleeps, and while they're sleeping, 100% of their brain power is used to, uh, you know, surf the metaverse for coins. Crypto mining, if you will. <laughs> think about it, dude. Think about how much. Look, all I'm saying is that, yeah, you might think it's sicko now. But we all thought that fucking NFTs were stupid and sicko, and that didn't change anything because fucking idiots will do whatever it takes out there to make money. And that means that I give us about two to three working weeks before babies are being put into tubes to mine for bitcoins at night. All right? <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> I, I've put the thought in, this, in society's head. <laughs> y'all want to play uh y'all play some video games because i don't think i'm gonna go the streams have been a little bit shorter lately i know but uh i've been a little been a little uh a little wigged out and short horror game stream days where i play a bunch of short horror games can be any random length god knows how long these games can be i have like seven 
though. I have like a bunch today. So we're gonna try to get through as many as possible until I get bored of you. So don't worry, this ain't gonna be like a automatically, hee hee, we're gonna be done in like two hours. It's like it, I have like actually, uh, yeah, seven games. Seven or six, maybe five. There's one or two that I, I may not do. Depends on how I'm feeling. Depends on how I'm feeling. There may only be three. Okay, there's only one. I only have this game. I only have this one. I only picked out, I didn't even turn this one on. I don't own this one. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. When I come back, we're gonna play it. I gotta buy it. I'm gonna mute and buy it. I'm back. Dude. You wanna know what should be fucking illegal? Like actually a for real felony I should be allowed to call the police about and get someone arrested for life? Last like three times I've gone to my bathroom. Okay, at least once a day. I will walk to the bathroom door and it'll be closed. And the lights will be on, the fan will be going, like the fan in the bathroom. I'll be like, there's someone in there, and I'll knock. I'll be like, hello, is there someone in there? No answer. Bang on the door again. Is there someone in there? No answer. I start jiggling the door handle. It's unlocked. I open it. There's no one in there. Someone left the door. Uh, someone turned on all the lights, turned on the fan, and uh, then closed the door and just left it that way for me. So I could have this like social anxiety nightmare where I quietly, like a fucking insane person, open, like think maybe I'm opening a door that someone's like taking a big heaving dump in while they can't hear me because they're too caught up in like the uh, uh, poop day they're having. They keep doing that, dude. It should be illegal to do that. I need to start confidently kicking doors down, you know? Like, I, it should be, the counterpoint should be, I'm allowed two knocks, like, hello, hello, and if I don't get anything on knock two, all right, I'm coming in, BAM, I kick the door down, a door explodes off the wall, slams into the wall on the opposite side of the entire room, possibly kills whoever's on the toilet, and then I'm allowed to walk in. That was four knocks, well, I did one, it's two sets of knocks, so, one, two. And then I'm in. The home is, your home is your castle. Light a small fire outside the door. Yeah, I am kind of thinking that what would probably scare someone quite a bit is if I got a smoke machine. Like, that's what, you, you ever think about just getting a fog machine and just like taking it to people's door frames and just like, like sort of fogging up the underneath of their door to make them think that there's like a fire? <laughs> <laughs> to like scare them out of their house <laughs> in order to like, you know, get them out of your zone. Ever, ever just think about like carrying around like a small compact smoke machine that you can use to like just scare people. And you, yeah, and use this like a makeshift wrestling intro whenever you want. Whenever like someone's like, and I'd like to introduce you to the newest employee of our company. Uh, they, uh, Welcome to the Wendy's family. 
Paul, and you fucking kick the door open, and there's a smoke machine in the background, and your fucking song is playing. And you fucking walk in there like a champion. You always have it on hand. Look, dude, all I'm saying is that if someone's taking a long time at the toilet, okay? The, fa the thing that would make me go to the bathroom the fastest is thinking that the, uh, my house is burning down outside. So, like, it might even make them more powerful, you know? Like, if I was taking a big dump and I looked over at my door and there was uh, smoke pouring in. And, like, maybe I also did some, like, maybe I also made some sounds on their side, like, uh, oh, oh. And then you just like maybe turn on the fire alarms as well. <laughs> maybe also turn on some fire alarm sound effects at the same time. That person's never gonna go to the bathroom in that toilet ever again. They may never go to the bathroom again. Which means that's one less problem you have to deal with. Forever. <laughs> Easier to just start a fire? Well, that's illegal. What well, is it illegal? Um, technically, according to the most literal forms of written law, is um, completely manipulating someone while they take a shit in their most vulnerable of moments. That is, in fact, there is, in fact, no law against that. There is the founding fathers, brother. All right. When the, <laughs> when the founding fathers sat down to define the... The laws of this nation of ours have never said anything about what could or couldn't be done on someone's poop day in order to scare them from ever doing it again in a million years. <laughs> Alright, let's play the dog game. Chills. I'm getting chills. Getting chills. This game's called Dog House. It's about a dog. It's about a little dog. Snapping. He looks sick. He's got polygon disease. He's got two minutes to live. And then he's gonna blow up. He's gonna explode. So we got a uh, left click to interact, sp uh, shift to sprint, WRCD to move, uh, right click for eagle vision. Uh, everyone knows you need eagle vision if you're gonna build a dog house. Uh, see the crouch, so you can get down low for when you're building the dog house, because dogs are relatively short compared to people. And space to jump, in case the dog jumps and tries to uh, attack your ankles, you can jump over it. You know how it is. Dog? My boy, my precious baby boy. Hey. He does look kind of uh, sick. Oh, Leonard, I will build you a home soon. Well, Leonard, my big lad, I'm going to go build you a home so that you can rest and be comfy outside of my house, of course, because you stink. So let's see here. Instructions on building a doghouse. Quite lengthy. All right. Well, Leonard, looks like I gotta get started on building a doghouse. Looking at the geometry of this tree, I think all I have to do is just start punching it. Okay, this is not how, I have to actually find real tools. Um, that's fine. Uh, only way into the house is here. I'm 12. I need to unlock the garage to get s Mintos. Minmo. Hello? 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 Man, I do not get much light in this fucking house. Eagle Vision, activate! Wait, what the heck's that about? Hang on, what is this? First of all, what is this? The Majestic King Panda. That ain't a panda, that's a dog. Well, whatever. 
Some ABG blocks. Whatever happened to C? Well, ABG is typically the first fucking so like notes you use for like uh, you know musical stuff. You it, it, these are blocks for people that like musical like playing like fucking like music. All right, you do A, B, and G before you learn C. G comes up more immediately. Then you learn C. <laughs> it's all stupid. People are fucking trust me. All right. First three notes you learn on the saxophone, all right? G, A, and B. You don't touch C, they tell you never to go near C. What is this? A piece by JM from an art market. I don't, it kind of creeps me out to be honest. It is kind of creepy. How's, uh, how's, how, how's Ronald doing? I mean, Leonard. Hi, right, Leonard. I'll, uh... It's chat. Ronald has all the same letters as Leonard. No, it doesn't. But I, you thought about it for a second until I said otherwise. You thought about it for a second. You believed me. Better kept inside, especially after last time. We don't, uh, <clears throat> we don't go out there anymore, or in there, after what happened last time. After the insult out. Light works. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I can't climb in this. Leonard's favorite song. He loves that song. I'll pick it up and play it for him when he's upset. My precious baby boy. Oven? I should take a bite to see if it's done. I keep this around for self-defense. That's my favorite. Uh, and, or in the event of a lettuce attack. Yeah, that's my favorite. Huge knife. Oh, what's happening? Who am I hearing right now? Who am I talking to? Hello? I'm experiencing a lasagna attack. I think I passed out. Was the food not done? Leonard? <laughs> Leonard, lock the door! Lock the door, I'm having a lasagna experience. I truly cannot move. What? What? Oh. Okay, this is a horror game. <gasps> Shh. Hey, everyone. It's me. The streamer. Oh, wait. No. Sorry. What is this? What's happening? Now for our main event, please welcome Leonard the dog. Oh, Leonard! What's happening? Hello everyone, great to be here. What's the deal with fire hydrants? Am I right? Woo! Yeah. Wow. I shouldn't have eaten that lasagna. That was just too much for me. That was just too much for me. I think this game has like five and like different endings too. So we can play it through a couple of times. I... Leonard! I gotta check on Leonard! Hang on, I forgot about Leonard! Leonard! Oh, Leonard. I'm going to get you a home. Just like you always wanted. My precious baby boy. He's still dead. He's not dead. He's just napping. He's sleepy. Let's just go into the garage and open the goddamn garage door. See it? Told you he's not dead. Because, <clears throat> uh, Leonard's excited that we're building the house today. Is that right, Leonard? <clears throat> well, 
I'm, uh, gonna get... Get to it then, Leonard. He's a quiet dog, but he's a quick dog. Just think about Leonard. Where the fuck did he go? Where did he go, though? Leonard? Leonard! And what the hell is this? I don't like that. I'm gonna build the doghouse, and now I just need a hammer. Uh, I don't know where we keep one of those. Check inside the, uh, check around the old garage. Oh, here we go. Leonard, you better not be scampering around out there. I keep you safe. Looking good. Now that is a doghouse. Is that my oven beeping? Thought I turned that off. Leonard? Not quite done. Wait, but didn't I already? But I already. I can heck cut the lights on top of that. Thought I already made the lasagna. Maybe, um, Leonard's favorite song. Leonard, you doing anything weird? Leonard, you in here? Well, we'll just hit the lights again. Mm hmm. How to get away with doing nothing. <laughs> I think we could all use a book like this. Am I right, chat? <laughs> I think we could all use a book like that. Mm, uh. Leonard? I'm finishing your bed right now. So how about you go back to sleep and you don't make some kind of Scene, all right, that you're going to regret. How about you just take it easy? I'm going to play your favorite song, Leonard, like I always do. <clears throat> yeah, he loves it. Where the hell's that hammer at? Disco Dog 405. You're able to soothe the savage beast by playing him his favorite song. You decided to make the most of the situation entered into a dog dancing contest where you and Leonard went on to receive many accolades. Simple as that, baby. Simple as that, baby. Ending four obtained. Now we play again. Leonard. You're dying, my precious baby boy. I will craft you a home, one you deserve. As soon as I listen to this scary song. Yo, Leonard! You German? We'll leave that on. All right, let's get to making. Uh, let's get to making our stuff. We're gonna make. We're gonna make the doghouse this time. No distractions. Okay, isn't that right, Leonard? Mhm. Mm Still don't know where the fucking hammer is. Do we even own a hammer? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. House. Bazongus. 
Yeah, Leonard would climb in this thing. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm I think this is a nice house. This is pretty good. I, I mean, I'd hang out on this thing. Oh, my God. Uh... Oh, my house fucking burned down. Uh, you left your oven on while working and you were so caught up in your work that you neglected lasagna burning your house down. Despite your situation, you are thankful for the 40 fire alarms you installed to alert the fire department and save your life. Good thing I built a new home. Sorry, Leonard, this one's all mine. <laughs> Pathetic. All right, so how do I get one of the normal endings? Because I think I've gotten like the two accidental oopsie daisy endings twice in a row now. Can I get like the endings for like normal people? Leonard, get the heck out of here. All right, leave me alone. Another hammer. Grab the hammer. All right, make the doghouse. Okay, make the doghouse. Go inside. Get the lasagna. My lasagna is gonna burn. All right, looking good. Why the lights go out? Why the heck and heck did the lights go out? Leonard? 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 I made you your bed. You've always been. I just gotta hurry up and finish the house before Leonard gets any angrier. I don't wanna play that song today. I'm just not freaking feeling like it. Maybe if I turn on the scary music. I'm just not feeling like playing that freaking song. All right? It's looking good. I'd sleep in that. Let's get this metal sheeting in. Ah. Uh, blow torch that. Leonard, I've completed your lovely home. Shut the door. All right. I got him. You humanely captured Leonard inside the doghouse. The next day, you decided to call law enforcement. By the time they arrived, they found the doghouse was empty. You still wondered where he could have gone. That was the good ending for the good boy. So how do I get the other two? Because I'm still missing two endings. Guess in one of them, I don't shut the door. Probably one of them, I allow Leonard to uh, get me. And I feel like one of them is that radio, which hasn't done anything yet. Mm hmm Done. Hit the lights. Bada bing. Go this way. Look around the room. Leonard, good to see you. Calm down. Ah! Ah! Oh. Your once beloved pet is now something of a different breed. You tried to escape him, but died in the process. Bad ending. I, like, just walked into him and tried to, like, nudge him out of the way. All right. I got one more idea before we go to the next... Oh. It sent me here. That's cool. It wants me to finish the doghouse again. Hang on. I'll try something. I have one idea. All right, Leonard. Time to get inside your lovely home. Get on in there right now. did anything. I think Leonard's just actually just kind of likes the door. Have a good time in there, Leonard. My good lad. Go inside with him. I tried. I tried. Hang on. Let's show one more round. Hang on. I got, a, I got an idea. I think I know what it is. This time when Leonard shows his ugly mug... 
I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna grab my weapon and I'm going to kill him. I'm going to slay the dog. He's not a dog anymore. He's not my boy anymore. He's some kind of demon. And he's burning my lasagna. I will kill him. You'll see. Lights on. I better go finish that lasagna before something goes wrong. Isn't that right? Leonard. How about you just stay calm? We don't want any problems. Did you think that would work? Honestly? Yeah. <laughs> Dead, dude. He threw me out of the map. Well, how do I get the last ending, Chet? What's the what's the secret for the uh, one ending I missed? Someone has to know. Someone must know. Lock yourself inside the doghouse. Mmm. Yes. You hope Leonard is not wreaking havoc on the public at large. You would go check the news to see if that were the case, but you're stuck inside the doghouse. Mediocre ending. Nice. Well, chat, that was doghouse. Next game. We have more games. The next one on the list is called... Wayward Harbor. It has an actual spooky premise. But because of the fact that it uh, doesn't exist on anything, we're going to be playing under the uh, directory spooky. You know what that means. You know what that means. We're going to be playing under the directory of uh, spooky. Wayward Harbor. Hello? I gotta turn off my back light here. There it is. There it is. I have multiple games. So don't worry, there's even more after this one. Oh. How's that sound? What the, is that me? Hello? Fucking bright. A mirror. <laughs> Why? I always loved this mirror. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh. oh, it was all just a horrible dream, a horrible nightmare. A horrible nightmare. It was all just one bad nightmare. That was a bad mirror. I don't look like that. I don't look like that at all. If anyone owns a scuba diving uh, helmet like that, they're they're a Scooby Doo villain. Like I feel like that's the only excuse you have to own that. It's like you're a villain from like Scooby Doo, right? Like that's honestly the only reason to own one anymore. Is if like you get into that to scare people off your property. They look kind of cool, yeah, but they also look kind of evil. You know? You gotta like walk into the doors to open them. That door's locked. We're not going that way. Mm, the old homestead. My mama and papa used to live here before they both mysteriously were killed and murdered. Which isn't actually, like, I honestly, it's not that mysterious because I know how they died. It was a uh, fisherman's harpoon done stabbed them both. 
in this very house from behind. Yeah, you don't own two of those unless you're also planning on maybe losing one of the costumes because it gets confiscated by the police the first time you try to, like, you know, trick a bunch of Scooby-Doo-esque adventurers or explorers or investigators. You really shouldn't own two. Hello? Well, I've got the key to... I've got the key to open the door upstairs, so I guess I'll do that. Game keeps telling me to crouch, but I'm not sure what I should be afraid of yet. It's just really quiet here. Hello? <laughs> Surely the monster won't be behind me a second time. That would be freaking crazy. Oh, it is still back there! Oh. 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 I played that other game that had a mechanic like this, but I feel like this game came out first. Either way, it's a good mechanic, and in the other game, it wasn't very scary. This one feels like it's gonna be scarier with it. Oh, I don't like the sounds. Hello? Wait a minute, I have to be going like this or I can't see him. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go, it's stumbling around. Is anyone? Well, I, I, this way, actually. <laughs> that, one here. that room's empty. Is there a freaking ghost right next to me? I'm not seeing anything there. I'm seeing something. Uh, should I be not looking at it? What is it doing? Is it angry at me right now? Cause that make those sounds make me feel like it's Whoa! Whoa, whoa, we whoa! Whoa! Do I not look at it? I think I don't look at it. Or do I look at it? Uh It's like right there. By my favorite fucking chair. Let me just uh, do a quick check again. What the fuck is it? Oh my god! <laughs> it's freaking gone, man! It's right on top of the table! I saw something. I believe I run for that door. And I leave the building. I'm going in here. Do I just jump out the window and fucking leave, man? I think I just jump out the window and I fucking leave, man. Does the ghost or monster open doors? Or does it kind of walk through them like a specter? I need to know if this thing has a physical presence in my world or not. Can I jump through this? Frick! I literally cannot! Oh my god. It's making sounds. What? Oh, cool, I can hold it over the other side. Okay, I'm not a pussy, all right? Oh! Help, help! Help! I need a, 
I need help. It's camping. Is it in the room? Oh my freaking god, it's about to come through the door. Man, I miss I miss uh, Reynolds. Leonard? Ronald? Leonardo. I miss Leonardo, man. From the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Whatever, man. <laughs> I'm leaving this way. Hello? Go run for the exit! <gasps> I gotta get the fuck out of here, man. There's like a ghoul in the house. And outside the house. I'm assuming. It's just a bad scene. Really. That's our destination, chat. We're going for that funny looking crank there. All right. Hello? Stop that. Stop that right now. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, he just put me in a bed way over here. I don't know if I'm supposed to not look at him. Looks like this monster is invisible. Yeah, I know, man. That's what I've been kind of picking up here, but I'm not sure. Give me this crank. That's it. Just give me the crank. Stop! I think this freaking monster is invisible. Maybe I can use the mirror to see this monster. Shut up! Shut the frick up! Can't kill what you can't see, so I can't kill it, so what does it matter? Plus, I think if he killed me right here, I would wake up right here on top of this dirty old fish. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god. Plug in the crank. See you later, jackass! <laughs> yeah, it's as simple as that. Q and E to move the mirror. I don't want to move the mirror. Oh, you never own three of those unless you really are straight up made. Like, straight up a company that makes weird, spooky costumes for evil real estate, like, owners to, like, scare people off property. Like, they, now you're just making them to, like, sell them en masse. It's a bit, it's just too much. Oh, that's pungent. Ah, the odor of, yeah, you can't have four of them. Can I leave? Can I just go? See you later, ghoul. <laughs> My uh, big boat battery is out of boat battery. I have to take this all the way back to the boat store. All the way back up top to the boat store. All the way back up. Past the ghost. Whoa! Even is he? Oh my god. Oh my freaking god! Fuck off. Here's the thing, chat. What if I just put my mirror away and I just pretend I don't see him? Oh! <laughs> Fucking idiot. Put me right where I wanted to be. You can't- I need the- I need the- I gotta crank this again? Where the hell are you, jackass? You're on top of me? Alright. Well, what do you want me- I'm on the bed, man! I can't leave! We can do this all day. 
You can't kill me. You only exist because of me. And do this just back and forth forever. What does it matter? I just gotta pick up this crank. Walk it back over here. Plug it in. Don't. 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 I need to at least try to look like I'm playing the mechanics of the video game, because it's cool. It's a cool mechanic. Even if I don't understand what causes the ghost to aggro. Because it seems like it's aware of my presence only sometimes when I'm looking at it with the mirror. Or maybe it's because I'm standing when I'm doing it. I'm not sure. Oh, this bad boy's charged. Just gotta get this thing back to the boat now. Ghost check! Frick! Ghost check! Frick! All right, I'm gonna crouch backwards. Back is he? He doesn't know I'm here because I'm sneaking. I'm crouching. Okay, now I'm gonna run as fast as I freaking can. I'm not. Now I'm gonna run really fast. Oh! Hold up. Does he actually know? He's right on top of me. I think he teleports. Oh, you little rat bastard. Looks like the monster starts attacking if I keep staring at it. But is it staring at it in the mirror or staring at it in the... You know... You know... <laughs> I guess both. Probably just a full-on... Oh, no. Oh, no. Just put the fucking mirror away, man. Just put it away. It's only causing you trouble. Where the hell is this jackass? Oh boy. Ew, dude. Ew. Disgusting freak. Horrid beast. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, I made it angry. Dude, fuck off! Go away! I'm not supposed to look at it, I know, but it's like hard not to look. You know? Fuck, it's going towards like the place I want to be. Dude, you gotta go upstairs. You just gotta. It is full on camping me, dude. Go upstairs now. Do I just go right now? Nope. <laughs> the answer was no. You think I stink? Maybe I can. Maybe you can smell me because I stink, like uh, like death, like fish guts. I think it can smell me because of my fishy odor. Because I probably smell like dust, like awful. Dude, it was going upstairs that one time and I regret not taking that up. Oh my god, it's leaving. Go, go, go! Idiot! Moron. We're out of here. See you later. I didn't... You know, it does make sense that I would need the keys to my boat. And it does make sense considering that's a fully furnished building. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Alright, we're going this way. I can't see it behind me because the mirror is down, so it has no reason to charge at me unless I'm looking at it. Wait, I'm gonna sneak. 
It sensed me. Is it after me? It can't get in this room. It's got a small little thing over it. All right, where the hell's the key? I got it, baby. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Now we just gotta make it back to the boat. Again. Fuck. It's here. It is in our general area. The monster. Though, honestly, to be honest, if you just grab the one little stabby part, you could probably take it in a fight. Ew, look at his gross toes, dude. Ewie. Ew. Is it like right on top of me? Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh no, oh Jesus. Do I just go for it? I mean, I feel like this is impossible. Fuck off! Wait, hold up. Oh my God, they freaking did. Oh my God. Hi. Simple as that, baby. Dude, all I ever had to do to conquer my demons was tell them to leave. See you later, idiots. Easy, man. Easy. And scary. Once I figured it out, I was really enjoying it. It just took me a minute to be like, oh, I see, and like actually have it click. For like a second, I did not get it. Was it scary though? I don't know, dude. I thought it was relatively scary. Y'all wanna play a really scary one? You guys wanna play like a really scary one though? Like one for really scary people? Okay. <laughs> this one's really scary, all right. This one's called <laughs> The Mold Exorcist. This one's called, all right, The Mold Exorcist. That's right, The Mold Exorcist. Don't wait, call now. You see mold? Call me at 1-800-666-MOLD. We'll get rid of your mold problem for you. We'll spray it down with anti-mold goop and we'll, uh, get, we'll uh, scrape it off the walls and we'll throw it in the garbage and we'll light it on fire right in front of you. Call it a day. I'm gonna answer the call, I'm getting a call about mold. Here we are. Hi, Just calling to let you know that this particular job has a rush on it. Huh? The property goes up for sale tomorrow, so sorry for putting you on the graveyard shift. All right. Don't worry, you'll get time and a half for this one. Mm -hmm. So you don't contaminate the whole place. Start upstairs. The door's open. You got your mold blaster 9000, HEPA mask, headlamp, and you're ready to go. Talk to you on Monday, mate. All right, mate. All right, chat, here we are. You all know the deal. All right, no one leaves Kill Mountain till we finish the job. Besides, I don't even know if it's safe for us to leave. That's a, that's a fucking, <laughs> that's a 60 degree incline, all right? So don't even think about leaving before the job is done. Only I know how to get down. So shut the fuck up. We're looking around for mold. Okay. Found it. Don't breathe any of this, by the way. The fuck was that sound? Fucking pig. So there's some kind of... Oh god, is this on my mask? Hang on, I gotta check if it's sealed. No, it's it's sealed. 
I'm not getting any malt fumes. Good God, it's everywhere! Well. What are you doing? Hmm? Let me make something clear if there's some kind of ghost in here, or some kind of specter. All right. I'm getting paid by the hour to do this job. Okay, and unless you have a, unless you have a deed of ownership for this house, you can suck my scrote, all right? I'm fucking scared of this mold. What are you talking about? Huh? I'll spray uh, aimlessly into the air to kind of just spray down. I think I think we got some latent air mold. Yep, got rid of that one. They're gone. Let's get rid of the rest of this shit. Mm -hmm. And some of this. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Stop that. Damn, that one's like a crazy one. That one's like, that one was wild. That one was like, crazy. Stop that, hey. I said stop that. How's the outside of the property look? We should make sure there's no exterior mold. That's even worse than interior mold. Yeah, everything's fine. We'll just keep getting the job done. Don't chat. Look, one of the most important things about this job is not letting anything wig you out. All sorts of crazy shit happens with mold. Just ignore it. The amount of times I've had a ghost try to coerce me into not demolding a house is honestly depressing how many times it's happened. And you just get used to it. They'll say all kinds of stuff like, don't do it, my soul's attached to the mold. And usually to that I say, um, well, are you planning on paying me to not demold the house? Because the cost of the demolding is very high. I charge a premium for this. Is this your urn? I start spraying demolder inside the urn. Is this yours? Is this where your ashes remain? Is this where your uh, sacred remains are? I demold the interior. Probably just making a scene because you're all moldy. It does matter. I get paid regardless. Look, if you want to fucking mold up the house once I'm gone, that's great. I get another job later. Is that a pig? I'm starting to figure out why there may have been mold in this house and there's a ghost pig. Or. Yo, you. You guys got a- I think one of the ghosts did have a- like a pet pig. And horse. Was this a barn? Before it was a house? Well, anyways, I got some mold right here. I think that's the last for this floor. Yep. And, yep. Well, I'm finishing up the first floor now. And then I'm moving up to the top floor. Is that a problem, jackass? Oh my god! Well... Let's get to it then. I know, right? That's what I'm fucking saying. You guys should've... So, I'm... Just to be clear, I'm not a D... Like, scrawling. Uh, listen, whatever it is, I'm not interested. I got a job to do. I got to get this thing done. He molded. It's hard. It's just hard now. Frankly, it's kind of just hard to see. Look, can you, like, get rid of the LEDs or whatever this is? I can't see the goddamn... Look, I don't give a damn if you got blue eyes, white dragon, or whatever the fuck this is. Get out of the goddamn way until I finish the demolding. I know, dude. That's why I need you to move. Your gamer lights are too bright. Can't see. Mm -hmm. 
I will get to the goddamn basement when I'm done with the second floor. I swear to God, if I find a horse down there, though, I'm gonna get so freaking mad. Alright, fine, we'll deal with the basement and then I'll get the fucking rest of the second floor. Jesus Christ. Hey, I'm here for the demolding of the uh, basement. Demold the basement now. Big basement. No wonder this property costs so much. Yes. I wonder the uh, wonder this place was going for such a crazy amount. Uh, what the heck even is that thing? I'm not sure this is a mold. Uh. What the fuck did I? What happened? Is this a mold man? Plus, I got bad news. It's like all mold, man. It was all mold. Boss, it's like, honestly, the whole fucking thing's mold, man. Whole thing's mold. Call the army. Mold is demons. Anyways, next game. Dude, I got another game. What the fuck was that game, lol? Says Jesus Tickles. Dude, my, uh, this game has seized up my desktop. I may have to do a stream computer restart. Which wouldn't be a, uh, it wouldn't be a shut down the stream, it would be a, uh, I have to restart the game PC though. It seems like that one really didn't like being stopped. Might have had a ghoul in it or something after all. Ha, <sighs> mold, I got mold inside the PC. Hang on a second, chat. Hang on, chat. Gotta restart the old computer. Is this like a advanced shut like uh, lock up? Holy shit, dude! I was like holding down the button to restart it because it locked up like everything, and it wouldn't even restart when I did that. It's like scary. All right, There's some kind of advanced lock up. All right, the next game, as soon as the game, as soon as the computer's restart, is uh, gonna be I think a little bit of a longer one. Called um something something, house something. <laughs> it's not actually called house, but it's like silent something something house thing. <laughs> so I just started thinking about uh, babies inside of uh, tubes mining for bitcoins again. God damn it. God damn it. Thanks for that in-depth description, streamer. No problem. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, computer's back on. Gonna be one more second, and then we're gonna be gaming. <laughs> As we all enjoy. Actually, you know what? Before we play that game, let's play Experiment Groceries. <laughs> Y'all wanna go get some groceries quickly? Wouldn't you know it, I gotta keep the label as spooky. Do I wanna log into Battle.net? No, matter of fact, I don't. I may not ever again, computer, but thanks for asking. I do appreciate it. All right, experiment groceries. This one was made in Unity. 
You can really tell. Man, that's some wild rain. Play. Yep. You guys remember what we uh, what we had to get, right? You did pack the list, right? You packed the list, right? We gotta get in, get out quick, like. All right, better not be anything stupid either. Remember, we only got time to take one trip to the to the store a year, so I'm, I've been telling you to fill out the list properly. I don't want any bullshit on it, all right? It's gotta be stuff we actually need. Okay? You got your list down? I wrote down mine. It's only the stuff I know I need for the next two years. We may not be at another supermarket like this again. I've got my list. We'll split up. All right? My list is... <clears throat> my list is uh, Coca-Cola, a pizza, and a taco. What'd you guys put down? Yeah, one taco, chat. Everyone knows that if I get more than one, like, taco in my system, my whole fucking lower half explodes. Alright, <laughs> I can't have another poop day like last time. You know the rules. Let's just get inside the goddamn supermarket and do our thing. This isn't a door. Wow, I parked as far away from the real en Is this an entrance I can use? I have we have $100, alright? We have a hundred dollars to split between both of us. Okay. I'll buy my stuff first, and then if we have anything left over, we can use your we can get the stuff off of your list too. Okay. Hey yo! Hey! Good to see you. Alright. Canned food, don't eat it. Canned food, don't eat it. Canned food, don't eat it. Don't eat any of this stuff from the can section. Just don't eat it. Uh, let's see here. Beer, don't eat it. There it is. There it is, baby. There it is. This is one of the three things on my list. Pizza. Here you go, man. Get that in the goddamn bag and don't fucking put it down upside down. I will know and I'll get so freaking mad. Nope, don't need it. Don't need it. Nope, don't need it. I just don't need it. Is that a taco? <laughs> oh, 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 delicacy. Mm, mm, mm. Let's get this one while it's still ripe. All right, let's get this one while it's still ripe. Get this out of the bag. Get that in the bag. All right, don't put it on upside down. Ruin it. I'll, I'll go crazy. Mmm. Is that an ice cream cone? I don't want it. Where the hell's my? Where's my drink? Where's my drink? I want my... Where do you sell the drinks in this place? For, uh, ice cold newspaper, as you like to see. You love to see this. If I could read, I would use it. Where the hell's the cola? Here it is. Delicious. <laughs> cola. Alright, that's everything. You have a good day, ma'am. Why did I get the feeling someone was following me? No, that don't make no sense. Why would there be anyone following me? Two bags into three items? Well, chat, one of the bags has to be for the Coca-Cola. All right? It, it perspirates. Or whatever. I don't know. Get this in the car. Shut up. All right. 
I'm, uh, I guess go, I'm going back in. Be, uh, oh yeah, we're back again. We gotta get, uh, so now we're going through some of your lists. We just do it all in separate trips so we don't get distracted. Uh, someone else wants beer, a donut, and pizza. No problem. Mm. What's up? How's, uh, how's things? You got, looking for beer? Donut and some pizza. Oh, nice. This is the kind of pizza you want? I mean, donut? Yeah, it's probably fine. Get that on the thing. Uh. Yep, just bag it. How's this looking for beer? How's this one looking? We'll just put it right there. That's probably fine. And where the hell do we keep the pizzas again? Pizzas are like somewhere in the back? By the burgers? By the burger section? Uh, fuck. It's like right here. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. A delicious pepperoni pizza. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Have a good day, ma'am. It's getting darker out, chat. Uh... We just want to make sure that we get, um, we get home before, uh, you know, anything bad happens. And by we get home, I mean me, because honestly, uh, you guys aren't, I don't know where you live, nor do I care. So just, I don't know, walk home. Who wants donut sauce and a taco? Who was it that ordered donuts, sauce, and a taco? This place is a mess. This place is some kind of shithole. I did. Well, this donut's fine. Get that on the thing. Donut. Where do we even keep the sauce? I do not remember. Oh my god, thank god. Last taco in stock, baby. The last one. What kind of sauce do we want? I'm gonna get I'm getting ketchup. What we're getting is ketchup. Okay. And a taco. How much is this taco gonna cost? Cause uh, we're kind of running low on funds. Wow, that's really fucking expensive. That's the last taco you guys are getting for a while, all right. That's like the last one we're getting for a while. Of those. Five dollars for like a taco? Okay. Splitting the bags into two? Well, chat, what happens is they pour the contents of the taco into one bag and they put the shell in the other. Or else the shell will get all soft. During transit. It's a doy? What are you, stupid? It's a deconstructed taco. It just shows what it will look like constructed. It's just packaging. Oh, this place is all fixed up again. Nice. I'm glad you got the... Nancy, I'm glad you got this place... fixed up. Ma'am? You good? No. All right. Well, uh, let me check what was on my list, because I'm not about to... fucking... Forget now. Actually, now that I don't actually have a list, I'm pressing the button and I can't check. I'm too scared to pee. Nah, never too scared to pee. Come on. Yeah, let's be honest about one thing. That's like one of the best times to pee. That's like no one. This doesn't happen. Of course. I should have known. I, I should have known something was off about this place. This is some kind of observation room for the toilets. The test subject's portfolio, Tamat. Wait a minute, that's me. H104, haven't noticed any of the paranormal phenomenons yet. Race, human. That is me, wait a minute, holy shit. No, no. How does it know? Unemployed, single, fuck, dude. 
has a driving license, true. That is true. That is true. That one's true. That one specifically is true. All right. Discovered during the experiment, favorite products, beer, pizza, and donuts as bullshit. Has not bought unprescribed products, has not used toilet. <laughs> I didn't know, dude. I didn't know I could. I didn't know I could. Huh? I thought I saw something. I thought I saw someone else in here. I'm gonna start pissing all over the servers. I'm, 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 I'm walking and pissing. All over the servers. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This place is all freaking messed up. This place is all messed up. We gotta get out of here, man. But where? But... But where? Site 23, guidelines. Keep track of the test subject at all times. Server room must not be visited by regular staff. QA teams restricted from leaving the site during experiment phase. You must comply with your supervisor's commands. Violation of these rules will get you executed. Toilet. Toilet. Huh? Huh? I have to piss so freaking bad right now. I'm about to blast, dude. I'm about to blast! Uh. Uh. I can't use the ladies' bathrooms or do it out the window. Later, idiot. Uh, my sound card can't take much more of this. We gotta get to the car. <laughs> oh, it got better. We're okay. Come on, guys, get to the car. Jimmy's still inside. I don't care. I didn't like him. I didn't like him, that's why I didn't wait for them. I drive away, the end. But was I, but was I really a experimental test subject? Was it all one bad dream? Am I going freaking crazy? All right, well, it's a long. Uh, we're getting some. We're getting some credits right now. I'm ready to switch to the next game, but uh, we're getting credits. Do the devs remember they have to close the game for me because none of the buttons work during the... Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next game on the list is called The Silent House. Anniversary Edition, version 1.15. I'm launching the game on Omega Visuals. So no freaking talking, all right? I think the game just spoiled who the murderer is. And it's like shaggy, but with like a helmet on. With like a fencing cap on. Hey, is that you? Are you the killer? 
I'm going to play a new game. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I only want to play. Huh? Gordon? You going up to the property, Gordon? Yeah, I'm less than a mile away. Good. Now listen to me, son. The property's been dead silent for a while now after Stone's death, but that doesn't mean there won't be squatters. Did you remember your stun gun? Let me check in the back. I think I... You forgot your stun gun again, didn't you? I keep reminding you about this and it won't go through your thick head. All right, fine. Just sweep the property for evidence relating to the kidnappings. I'll send another guy to check it in the morning. Surely you won't need your gun or any weapons. For the sake of your job, you better find something to crack this case, or else I'm gonna have that same detective take your place. Despite the fact that, I mean, if you don't find that then, I mean, he wouldn't find that then either, probably. Because that's how, like, sweeping evidence works. A lot of the time, unless you're, like, just not looking at all. I'm gonna fire you if you don't find anything, okay? Bye, I love you. Get the picture, Sammy boy? Thought my name was Gordon. Yes, sir. I sure hope you- I sure hope so with your lackluster performance recently. Detectives have a quota! <laughs> you have to solve a certain amount of crimes or you're fired! Check in with me when you find something useful, alright? Guess my character's name is Sam Gordon. I'll make sure to find something groundbreaking, Chief. I'm gonna I'm gonna solve the big case. Good. I love you. I love you too. Something more groundbreaking than your lazy ass could ever find. What was that? Oh, I didn't. Sorry. I hang up. <laughs> Shit. What was that? Sorry, I was uh, doing a bit where I pretended to say that, and then I realized I actually did say that, and I didn't hang up either of the times. <laughs> Shit, sorry, sir. I'm getting a weak signal. Check back in with you later. I love you. Bye. Hold up. I've got to stop leaving that radio on after check-ins. I don't get how any activity could be happening within Stone's property. He's been dead for a couple of months now, I believe. You believe? Maybe this guy is a bad detective. What do you mean you believe? You don't know? You don't know? That's like the one thing you should know! I can't remember if the freaking guy for the case I'm trying to solve died or not. Here we are. It's very bright out. It's really bright out. There we go. You don't need any flashlights on. This place is actually beautifully lit. Left mouse button or E to interact. Okay. It's quiet. There's no sound. The rain is silent. There's pretty much nothing going on at all. I don't know if y'all can hear something. I can't hear fucking anything. Is this a truck? Hello? Park this here. I wasn't just like parked a truck here. That's quiet. Way too quiet. Goodness is there's this little side door here to slip through. Um is there just really no audio for this game? There's definitely computer audio. There's just no audio. It is cut you know. Game is called the silent house, not the there is sound actively in the game house. That is true. It's called the Silent House, which means I'm guessing I've turned up the game way too loud because when the guy shows up, you know, the guy with the green shirt, he's probably going to go like, and he's going to like fucking immediately make a lot of really loud sounds that really scare the fuck out of me. Use the right mouse button to use your flashlight. God damn, this flashlight's fucking strong. What is this, like 10 lumens? What is this, like at least seven lumens? Minimum? Hello? Flashlight went out. Without my click. What is this like? Fucking at least. This flashlight fucking sucks if it turns off one more time, I swear to God. Mm. That's green slime. 
<laughs> Imagine just like tasting anything on the ground, and then instead of saying what it tastes like, you just say, oh, that's some kind of red goo. <laughs> yeah, it's some kind of, uh, it's kind of some kind of liquid on the ground. A scoop. What is this? Some kind of key. I managed to click off of the game by accident. I keep clicking off the, cause you can't, you can't click. My mouse just, bro, what is going on? It's gonna show my ethernet information, bro. <laughs> what is happening? The game's not locking my mouse. Hang on, DDoS? Yeah, there's nothing for you guys to see, trust me. This computer isn't connected to the internet right now. <laughs> but you can try. Um, how do I, how do I get this to stop closing the, com the mouse won't lock to the game at all anymore. It stopped doing it. I don't know if I can play this game if I can't click on anything. I might have to move to the next one. If it won't lock to the game. Yeah, it's, it's straight up not locking to the game. Uh... Try inserts uh, things that I would obviously know to do because I've been playing fucking random indie games for years. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea. Let me try those things. Ah, uh, nope, it didn't work. Fuck. There's not much I can do if whenever I, I I'm, there's only one thing I can do, and it's try to turn off my other desktop. Uh, so I've only got one monitor, so I can't click off. But. I don't know if that's going to work. I might just have to move on to the next one. Uh, which is fine. I'm actually going to set the next one to download because I didn't I, I didn't set it. Uh, it's actually an alien one. It'll be good. It's called, There's a demo for a game called They Are Here, which is like a spooky alien game. So I will free, let me reconnect to the Wi-Fi. And download that. It takes like 10 seconds. I guess we'll switch games. I don't have a choice. Sorry, chat. If, if my mouse isn't locking, I don't want to, like, be fucking closing the game over and over again if I, like, need to click off of it to, like, do things. As spooky and lovely as that one seems, I, there's not much I can do if it's going to keep closing whenever I click anything. I can try going back to the menu and see if that fixes it. Let me see if that fixes it really quick. No. <laughs> it has not. Okay, we're gonna have to move to the next game then. Sorry, chat. This one is also cool though. That game was cool, but there's not much I can do if it's not locking my mouse, which it turns out it wasn't doing ever. I'm not about to like turn off one of my desktop monitors because that'll fuck up like all my display crap. So moving on to the next one. Aliens, what are they up to? What are they? What's their problem anyways? Are they like, what's their deal, man? <laughs> Resolution scale, a hundred percent, all of it. Aliens, what are they, fucking, whoa. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speeds over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at, a speed differ at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. This is a demo for a game coming out sometime this year. But it looks really good, like genuinely. So I was like, fuck yeah. But you know, it doesn't look really good. Default motion blur, which is actually hidden in post-processing settings. Let's see if I can delete that part.
thank you. Okay. <laughs> Wow, this lady's got my eyesight, dude. <laughs> I can't read that! I can't see! Are you fucking kidding me? Is that the aliens right now? No fucking way is that the aliens right now. You're telling me that people don't believe these people when there are aliens right there? Aliens, dude. They're right there. Take a picture. Dude, look. It's evidence. Look, you can tell. They're real. I took it just like I'd take a picture of Bigfoot. They're freaking real. The truth is out there, chat. Let's go to Sherman's house and fucking ask him about the aliens real quick. Sherman! I know no one believed you about the aliens, but I see them, man. I'm right with you on this. Those things are fucking, that's real. That's real aliens. There's something off about them. Hello? Hello? Corn don't crack unless it's popping. And then it makes like a cracking sound sometimes. Chairman, you alive, man? Mr. Fox. We made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police just in case we pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. You left your fucking door open for me? All right. I'm all alone tonight. I thought I sort of came here to ask, like, like an interview. But I guess I can just... Spend the night in... in the alien zone. Close the door. All the way? No, we'll leave it cracked. It's not like any aliens know how to open doors. P. Sherman from Wallaby Way. To do it. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Oh, I thought it was like, in the photos, members of the Sherman family having a good time. But it's really just in the photo, members of the Sherman family. All right. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Quail. Check goodness is aliens aren't real, so we don't have to worry about them outside the house because they're not real. No service. nothing on the inside of the phone. It's all freaking empty. It's all just one big block of plastic. Could an alien have swapped the phone with a silly phone made for idiots? Could they be out there now? What the fuck was that sound? I heard the sound of like footsteps. No, no, uh. Three lights are still up there. As long as I don't see like two lights. What's that door? Could aliens be causing some kind of silly scene? I left you some milk out in case you wanted some if you got thirsty at the house. Oh, huh, lovely. And a cook. They are here. And a, um,. A news article of someone else beating you to my uh, house. Oh wait, this is an old one. Um, the old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomenon have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this. Why I never knew about this. Weird. Something's awry in this old house, in this old house, chat. 
and this kitchen sucks so so bad how do you even get stuff out of the this kitchen makes me angry that's what I should write the fucking story about how bad the kitchen is it's terrible there's no way to live hang on I'm gonna check outside no it's quiet Maybe a little too quiet out there, for my liking. Well, chat, we better get to move on. Oh, they have to leave this out. There's no fridge. They don't own one. They live in... No. I forgot. This is really the worst house layout ever. Are you fucking kidding me? No. No wonder aliens want to check out these people. They're fucking certified insane maniacs. No wonder they hang out outside this place all the time. It's like looking at a zoo. Wild. You a carpenter now? What are you fucking, why are you shaming me? This is where we keep the funny, uh... Fire extinguisher. It's a lovely picture of uh, members of the Sherman family. <laughs> members of the family, son. This is my plastic beanie, or whatever. This is my. This is of course my uh, my dog with human hands. Wait, no, that's just a guy behind the dog. Never mind. Um, in the photo, members of the Sherman family. There's my dog, man. Perhaps the lad saw a alien. No one's stolen from my car yet. That's good. Usually that happens relatively quickly. Walkie-talkie. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Property of Megan. Property of Negan! <laughs> Well, well, well. Some kind of strange crossover. I feel the aliens don't stand a chance. All right, I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about Megan. They probably stand less of a chance. In the photo, a singular member of the Sherman family. This updated a little bit. Probably, like, running from an alien just off-screen. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things! <laughs> and the police did nothing. Pathetic. That's why I need someone like me... ...to investigate. Oh yeah, that's damning. <laughs> That's not good. Child's drawing. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. She says to flip the page. It looks like a chat member, smiling and happy to see an alien who's hanging out with the family dog, having a good time. Okay, alien freaking killed the dog. It freaking murdered it. It killed it. It covered it in sauce and made X's on its eyes. And now the chat member is sad. And next they're gonna come kill me. No, chat, it might be smart if we get to the car before the freaking aliens start doing their crazy thing. There's only one, there's only one, there's only one. Hang on, I got you outside, there might only be one. Hang on, I only saw one. I only saw one. I'm gonna get outside for a second. Just gonna take a look around. Just gonna take one look. Just one quick, just one wee little look. All right, we're cool. Task to inspect the house is back on, baby. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. We cool, we cool, we cool, we cool, we cool, we cool. I got one more room to check. The room that's glowing blue. <laughs> You know, the one that you'd never want to open because it's glowing blue. Hello? Hello? 
Is that a freaking alien? No, it's just plants. Here we have some pictures of from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something familiar. It looks creepy. There's like a some kind of uh, fucking kitchen goblin in this one. That looks like something you open up your cabinet and you see that thing peering out from the pantry. Um, that one's just someone sleeping. Some aliens. Napping guy. This guy just fucking had some crazy shit. It's lit! Alright, what else we got here? Aliens. Farmer's Children's Diary. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and... Hang on, I might as well do this. In, no, I'm gonna do this voice. Most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights and windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if I was in zero gravity. Everything around me became bright, blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was being welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they were communicating with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my brain. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening. I barely made it home. My head was buzzing, and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. My brain's all goo now. My brain's all goo. They turned my brain, they drained my brain out. Filled it up with styrofoam and 5G cards. Smooth holes. Dairy. Wait, no, diary. <laughs> Gotta take a picture of this. Yeah. Just really far away so no one can fucking read it. Just really as far fucking away as possible so no one can read what it says. And also blurry and out of focus. This picture would look great inside the dairy. What the hell's happening? What the hell's happening? Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Hello? I'm, uh... I'm gonna take a quick hop, hop and a skip inside the old, um... wardrobe to hide now. I hear some footsteps. No, no, enhance audio. You hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? There was a footstep. Something's moving. I just gotta get to my van. Hello? Oh, this sucks eggs. Dude, I ain't afraid of no stupid big head alien piece of shit Jimmy Neutron looking ass motherfucker like noodly little arms and legs will Looking like a slight gust of wind could knock him over totally disrupt every organ in their body if even a slight gust of wind pushed him. I'm not afraid of that. I just forgot my shoes. And my suck. Now that I got them, <laughs> I'm ready to get the heck out there. Yep. Just gonna go ahead and check something though. No, 
I get anything on the radio. Well, fuck. Might as well head downstairs. Aliens aren't real after all. Oh. Oh. I don't know about this. No aliens are allowed to interfere with... What the fuck is this? A little jar with a strange device. In a note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe this is it. Oh, fuck! The aliens know where I am! They saw me pick up the alien implant, and now they see me wiggling it around! They see the alien implant getting all j jiggled around because some idiot's shaking it! I gotta get the fuck out of here as soon as I read this note. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Not one of them thought to take an x-ray of my head or maybe a CAT scan that would easily display, I don't know, a big fucking aluminum tube in my brain. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. They never grabbed a metal detector and put it on the back of my skull and heard it go beep, 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 to the back of my head. The answer was simple, of course. Abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear, they were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something inside of me. Some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy, brother. All right? You can tell because I got this crazy thing in my head. Damn. That is crazy. Crazy epic. That is badass, dude. Fuck yeah. So anyways... Um, hang on, I'm not going anywhere near that. I'm gonna check out these photos. What is this? This is a picture of a dead animal, dude. What the fuck? They're just all dead animals. It's all dead animals. Am I gonna be a dead animal? Don't go near that thing. You're gonna become just a shirt. You guys getting anything out of this? They don't even like this. Why is it rewinding on its own? Chad, I think it's time we leave. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll let you guys watch some more television. All right, I'll be right back. Enjoy.
Hey, I'm back. What's up? Is there a freaking alien in the room right now? I would be so goddamn mad if there is. We're cool, we're cool. Chad, I went to my bathroom to go to the bathroom as you do. And I got really fucking sad and I think it might have been because of aliens because I got there and I've had this spider that's been hanging out by my toilet for the last goddamn week. I named him Reynolds. He hangs out underneath, like, by, like, the corner of my bathroom by the toilet, and he has a little web. And I've always been like, fuck yeah, Reynolds. It's something to, like, watch while I'm taking a dump. And when I got here today, when I went to the bathroom just now, he had climbed into the fucking toilet and drowned himself. I just thought I'd let you all know that I'm not doing very great right now. He drowned himself in, in my toilet, in my pee- In my pee water, Chad. <laughs> in the water I used to pee and poop. Uh, the, my favorite, my best friend killed himself, and now there's an alien outside. <laughs> Alright! Let's just get this over with, man! Where are you at? Stand your ground, law! You ever heard of it? Ever heard of it, brother? That's what I thought! Huh? What the hell is that? Oh! oh! What the f- How do we get back to the car? Might be time to get out of here. Hello? Oh! Hey! Ew, he was all tall and naked. He was naked! Uh. Oh! Oh! Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, of course it's not, it's not gonna turn on my guy. Nah, no, it's never gonna happen. Not in a million years is that gonna turn on. I take a picture? Dude, take a picture. Remember that thing you do for your fucking job? The thing you do! For your job, take a big <laughs> Ow! He just punched me in the head. He punched me in the head and knocked me out. It wasn't like a, I got you, I'm an alien, zap you with my laser gun. He quite genuinely just used his fucking alien hand to punch me in the nose, and he stunned me. And got me. Well, that game was fucked. That's a, that's a scary atmosphere. I'm excited for when that one is, uh, done. Because boy, oh boy, <laughs> that one's got some, uh, that one's got some, some serious, some serious, you know, some serious stuff. Which one's next? I was hoping, you see, the problem was that Silent House game was supposed to be the one that, like, ran, like, an hour. Now I'm, like, now I'm sitting here without the one that was supposed to run the longest for today. Because of the curse of the game not working. I could try launching it one more time and see if this time it works. I might try that first, just to see. Because it might just magically work this time. That'd be cool. It's not like it takes more than a second to get back into it and see. Back rooms, Andy. It is an ever-present reality. Let me see. It locked my mouse again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back into the silent room. Mouse relocked. Let's get back in there, baby. Let's find out what happened at, at the house where the person went missing without my stun gun, silently, with no audio. 
because there isn't any in the game. What's that? The sounding room? No, there's no sound. There's no sound at all in the room. That's like the thing. All right, chat. So remember, the, the plot of this one is we are a detective in the silent room with a flashlight and no other gear. We are a detective trying to find out any leads. Okay? There was a missing person. A, mis a person went missing. They missed. And now they're gone forever. And their only lead is this bucket full of green slime. It tastes like green. And we know someone around here has the answer to why that tastes like that. I picked up a key that I did. This door is blocked. And this one here, this door is unlocked by me. Hello? I can take this game slow again because I've caught back up to where I was. There's no audio, so don't have to worry about that chat. There is no sound in this game. It is called, again... The silent room, not the audible at all times room. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if I had to be honest, I would say this place uh, looks evil. This looks like a fucking evil murder house. Did I just get seriously silently knocked unconscious by green gas? Three hours later. I would have known that that was coming if I could hear the gas being pumped through the pipes. Huh? But now I can hear. Hello? Hello, they took my flashlight. I can't hide inside wardrobes. Can I look outside the wardrobe? Oh my god. Can anyone hear me? When I find out who gassed me, I'm gonna beat the shit out of them. There's a storm outside. It's really bad. Candle. And walking around outside, I can hear them. In real life. Not to be confused with the video game. No one. Dead end. Someone over there. Someone down there. Books. In a bookshelf. Hello. Door seems to be blocked. Someone here freaking... Why don't you just come out now and admit that you're a murderer, killer, psycho. All right. Why don't you just... Just come out now. Say it all on record for me so I can go home. You're a psycho. This is the one with Shaggy. Yeah, this is the one where like, Shaggy is dressed up like a murderer. Why don't you just come out now, Shaggy? Tell me why you did it. Make it easier on the two of us. We both know what you did. Why you gassed me. It's quiet here, chat. Way too quiet, something's wrong. Something's wrong. I can't leave. Someone blocked the door. That door's locked. Did I check this weird window? It's also closed. Whatever we're looking for is inside the bookshelf room. Unless it isn't, at which point we are fucked. This door requires a key. We don't have a key. This game is too hard for me, chat. I'm not sure we're gonna be beating this one. It might be... This game might be me-proof, chat. I just don't know what else to say. I have failed to find the key. My brain hurt. I'm too, I was playing the alien game and they pr they done took it all away. They turned it all into slime and pumped it out one of the smooth holes in the back of my head behind my ears. Could you imagine if I like woke up in that bedroom and I like did, like I missed something that was like obviously on the ground that I was supposed to look at? 
You gotta be fucking kidding me. Personal name, personal entry, name, Jimmy Blackburn, date, 5-19-2016. Hello, I'm going to take a nap. I took you from the doctor. You must know something that I don't. You'll tell me about the whereabouts of my pride and joy as soon as I wake up. I better find you taking a nap still, or else sit tight, my glorious seed of truth. What the fuck does that mean? I gotta get the hell out of here. I ain't nobody's glorious seed of truth. I'll tell you what. That much I can assure you, chat. Now where the hell's the goddamn exit? Or I don't know, a key? I'm gonna have to check every single book. Every single book, chat. Every one. Because there's got to be a key in between one of these books. All of them. One of these has what we're looking for. I'm a professional detective. I'm a professional. Anyone can find it. It's me. Ceiling. It's not going to be on the goddamn ceiling. Are you stupid? Really? Really? Put a mod comment on that person's uh, name. That they are the oh, the the, the only per the only reason that person would fucking know that is they made the game. So label them as the dev of the game. If anyone else says it, the dev, ban them. Cause that person's the dev. And dev, that's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It makes me question your entire talent as a game developer. Like, that's like hack shit. I found the key. Ah, uh, which means I think I also spawned a scary man into the premises. Well, <clears throat> I'm not seeing a scary man. But then again, if I was a scary man, I would wait until I opened up this door here to... That wigged me out, dude. That door wigged me out, man. I was got- I got really confused there for a second. Door's locked. Door's locked. Door's not locked. But the only thing in this room is a single wardrobe. With freaking nothing in it. It's really good. Here's the thing, chat. Like, I feel like a wardrobe isn't a good place to hide unless there's things to hide behind. And that's the thing in all these video games, is like, the hiding spot in the wardrobe is always like a completely empty fucking, like, box. And like, honestly, it doesn't take that much effort, effort to just open the wardrobe door and be like, hmm. Hmm. Penguin walk. Am I, am I waddling? I guess I do, I have a little bit of a waddle. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of got a little bit of a waddle to me. This is my uh, window, which lets me see into the other uh, library, so I can look over and see other academic types reading with their brains. And I can go, ha, 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 idiot. He doesn't understand anything about the things in those books because I had all those books edited and altered to be factually inaccurate. That's right, this entire library section is all factually inaccurate books that I had edited so that I al I'd always look smarter than the other person. An empty room with nothing in it. Awful lot of empty rooms with nothing. You can hide in closets, why would I want to do that? Hmm? Now, now game. Why the heck in heck are you tell me all about hiding? This building is larger than I thought. The wine cellar. Is there a freaking psycho in here? Why don't you just come out and tell me? Hmm? There's some weirdo? <laughs> I don't smell weirdo. What's this? 
Personal entry, Harry Hogler Crook. Holy shit, I never knew I was in... I was such a genius until recently. I showed the doc that I have more brain smarts than he ever will. To celebrate, I invited Lewis for some beer down in the cellar. He wanted to be a lightweight... He, he wanted to be a lightweight wuss today, so I decided on the wine. Dude, Lewis vanished as we were heading back towards the exit, except there was no exit. The halls were spinning and looping. It was nuts. There was a painting with something inside it at one point, too. That was the last time I ever fucking drank wine from the cellar. Jesus. Weird. Y'all think there's some kind of maniac in here? I got a key. Oh yeah, I smell the stink of a jump scare from a horror video game coming up in about like four to five seconds. As soon as I get down one of these longer hallways, all of a sudden there's gonna be a guy and he's gonna go, Bleh! he's gonna fucking like chase after me. And I know exactly when it's going to happen. Ha wait, uh, but I just, huh? Wait, what? Well, I, but I, oh my God, it's happening. I am lost. Oh, it happened to me. It happened to me. It happened to me. This ain't the way I got here. This is all freaking wrong. I came in this way. This is wrong. I don't understand what just happened. Oh, another key. Cool. See, that's the good thing about this is that if there is a psycho murderer after me, it's going to be hard for him to find me as well because I'm also in the psycho murderer maze. So good fucking luck. You'd have to... Like, something's <laughs> man, there's something off about that guy. I don't know what it is. There's something wrong with him. Staring at me all, all this whole time. Uh, I thought this was a wine cellar, not a. Oh, it goes to the personal entry. Lewis Nickel. Harry and uh, Harry had a bit too much today. I generally try to keep my drinking to a minimum to avoid fits of frustration, but Harry pushed the envelope on his drinking. He's not the brightest tool in the shed, and he definitely proved it here. Kept smacking into walls, asking where the exit was, and how there were, and how there were looping halls and such. Harry's going to be out for a long while, I'm sure. Is there a psycho murderer now running after me as fast as they can? Looks like a steam control panel. Easy. The machine is now running, and the murderer is on his way. I'm gonna hide in here until Shaggy loses interest. Cause we know he's coming. Yo, lame puzzle. <laughs> Yo, dude, fucking lame, dude. I was hoping that would get the streamer stuck for like 30 minutes, dude. Let's just get the hell out of here. Hello. 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 This was the wine they must have been drinking that night. The night they got all freaking confused and turned around. I don't want any. I don't need any. I'll be fine. I got all the keys. That's blood. That's human blood. That ain't wine. That was blood. I, I, I think. This door is now unlocked. I thought I saw a person, but it was nothing. <laughs> Just my imagination. People can't survive down here. This place is for wine, not people. We know this. You should taste it to be sure. You're right. That's ketchup. Why is there ketchup inside the barrel? 
That's weird. That's really weird. Oh, whoever lives here is a fucking psychomaniac. I gotta get out of here. This one has an X on it, which seems to mean don't go this way. I'll go this way. Back all the way upstairs and leave. Long hallways here. Yep, made it out. Easy. The inner courtyard. Now, if there's one place a murderer would hang out, it's probably the first floor of their own murder house. But I guess we'll find that out right now. Jimmy Blackburn, my lord. I need to get back on a good sleep schedule. I can't help but stop and sniff the flowers, and this can go on for hours. I think the spray that was given to me by the doctor has some sort of fragrance that makes it so wonderful to smell. I tried asking the doctor about the spray, but he gave me a shifty look and ran off that greedy bastard. I bet he's got a lot of it somewhere. The question of where he keeps it all has yet to be determined. There's only audio in the wine cellar. I repeat, chat, we've now... You're telling me there's only audio in the wine cellar? Is that deliberate choice, man? Help! 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 This has got to be a bug! This is a bug! I'm going back into the wine cellar! Help! <laughs> that has to be a bug. That has to be a bug. All right, Shaggy, what are we even doing here today? Psych. Get fucking owned. I'm calling the police right now. <laughs> ah, that's it. I'm calling the police. Beep, beep, beep. Hello? Yeah, it's me. Chief? <laughs> I got him. Chief? <laughs> I got him. What's that? I am the police. Use my stun gun to get him? I didn't pack that. The only thing I packed was this. Pulls out my desert eagle, aims it at the guy. <laughs> Sorry about this in advance, old man. Bam! Bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Sometimes it just do be like that, chat, in this hell of a world. This door will get us out of here as- Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! I think this game's broken and we can't play it. If there's no audio, I don't know how I'm supposed to know if there's a murderer after me. I don't know if that's deliberate or not, though. But there was audio downstairs. So it makes me feel like it's broken. <laughs> it was a good time while it lasted, though, I guess. Isn't it deliberate? It has to be a bug. There was audio downstairs. There, there was audio in another zone. <laughs> That's why I feel like it's broken. Because there's audio playing when he kills me, but not when he's like chasing me, which is like, if you, in a game like this, if you don't know when the monster is like, at, the killer is after you, it's almost impossible to ID when you need to run. You know? That's kind of... It, it, end, of the, end of the day... My crippling social anxiety has accidentally gifted 20 tier 3 subs to the channel, and that's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. Thank you, my crippling social anxiety, for the accidental 20 tier 3 subs. I know that was an accident. Contact Twitch and ask them to give you your money back. They will. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of accidental gifted subs. That's an awful lot of accidental money. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. They keep doing that, though. I know. And I think they keep accidentally forgetting to contact Twitch about it on top of it. Thank you very much, my crippling social anxiety, for the... 20 tier 3 gifted subs. They gain nothing of value other than a trashy emote. But that's cool, I guess. That's pretty cool, I guess. Hmm, chat, hmm, the question is... I can't go back into the back rooms today, chat. Next time I want to do the back rooms, I want it to be a whole stream. Like, that's the thing. The next time I want to do back rooms, I really want to, like, dedicate, like, eight hours to it. And, like, play it properly. I'm not going back into it today. Because that's, like, I'm actually, like, my next time I'm going to play, I'm going to beat the whole game in, like, one sitting. Like, even if it makes me go insane, that, like, that's how I want to do the next stream of that game. The BMCD thanks for the five gifted subs. Look, dude, I'm t Look, dude. All right, as far as I'm concerned... 
even if we don't play another game today, I would say this was a packed, very funny stream. <laughs> and I don't say that about many of my horror game streams. This one felt like it went for like eight hours. All right, that, that, I had a lot of fun today. So I don't, I don't feel too bad if we have to wrap up. Wasn't expecting that game to not work as well as it did. Uh, but I mean, I put aside a lot of stuff. But I don't want to like, I also don't want to like burn through everything because dense short horror game streams work really well. And like going through the list of like the whole backlog of horror stuff I have means I can't do another one later. Uh, so I think we just, uh, I think we just wrap up. I think three hours is pretty solid for mini horror game night. I think that's like, I think that's pretty much the norm. So uh, I will be back on Monday. Uh, Monday is the next actual stream. I do D&D &D tomorrow on Joe's channel. Which will be fun. That'll be a fun time. So keep an eye out. A uh, big plot episode tomorrow. Lots of plot happening tomorrow, I think is the plan. Uh, if you gifted subs, which many people did today, thank you very much. There was a lot of huge bits and gifted sub donations. Thank you. Truly. Super duper fucking nice of you. For real. All of you. All of you. Thank you. All this money will go to my new starter business... Bitcoin mining for babies. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a good time. I hope you all had a good time. Now get the fuck out. Get out of my stream now. Get out. Leave. Leave. Don't come back until Monday. All right. There won't be another stream until Monday. Get out. Get out. Leave. Leave now. Get out. Thanks for all the bits and donations. If I missed you. I'm scrolling through really quickly right now. Anonymous Jura, 100 bits. Thank you, Lamar. Thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> thanks. All right, chat. I'll be back on Monday. Thanks for watching. This one, uh, this stream goes out to Leonard. Keeping it real. I'll never forget that time you and I jammed to that song of yours. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, a real one. And to Reynolds, my fucking toilet spider who unfortunately in the middle of the alien stream drowned himself. Pouring this one out for you, Reynolds. Pouring this one out for you. A legend died today. Good night.